Today, we're going to learn about the different properties of matter. But what is matter? Matter is said to be anything that occupies space and has mass. Mass is the amount of particles present in an object. It can be measured by using a platform balance or a weighing scale. It can be expressed in milligrams, grams, or kilograms. The space that matter occupies is called volume. Mass and volume are the general properties of matter. A property of matter describes its nature or behavior. Properties that can be measured or observed such as shape, size, color, and texture are called physical properties. The different properties of matter determine its uses. Some objects or materials have properties that set them apart from other materials. Here are the different properties of solid matter. Porosity. It is the ability of a material to absorb liquid. Elasticity. It is the ability of a material to be stretched and return to its original shape. Rubber bands and carter are elastics. Ductility. It is the ability of a material to be drawn into very thin wires without breaking. Copper is ductile. Malleability. It is the ability of a material to be molded or shaped without breaking. Steel, aluminum, gold, silver. These are malleable materials. Brittleness. It is the ability of a material to break easily. Glass and ceramic are brittle. Hardness. It is the ability of a material to resist from breaking or scratching. Diamond is the natural mineral that occurs on earth. It can only be scratched by another diamond. The opposite of hardness is softness. Talc is another mineral on earth. It is the softest mineral on earth. Flexibility. It is the ability of a material to be bent. Metal wires are examples of flexible materials. Lastly, we have solubility. It is the ability of a material to dissolve in another substance. Coffee granules, sugar, and salt dissolve in water. Unlike solids, liquids have no definite size and shape. They take the shape of their containers. Liquids can easily flow from one container to another. Water is an example of a liquid. The ability of a material to flow easily is called fluidity. Did you know that some liquids do not flow easily? The ability of a material or a substance to resist from flowing is called viscosity. Examples, oil, lotion, liquid soap, shampoo, and conditioner. Like liquids, gases can flow. They are classified as fluids. The particles of gases are far apart from one another. They can move freely. They take the shape of their containers. The particles of gases diffuse or spread freely when their container is open. The material inside the balloons and the air you breathe are examples of gases. 
They cannot be seen by the eyes, but they can be felt or smelled. Fluidity, compression, and diffusion are examples of the properties of gases. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep 